The beautiful nature of Costa Rica is waiting for you. So slip into your muddy boots. And apply some mosquito repellent. A day in the rainforest starts early. Animals that are active during the day, like this variegated squirrel, now have to find food. This one already found something edible. Others simply have to get dry from a heavy rainfall during the night. A reticulated lubber grasshopper. Stingless bees awakened to gather nectar and pollen from a variety of flowers. Swainson's toucan is an active, noisy and highly unmistakable bird of the Costa Rican rainforest. A toucan's major diet are fruits. However, some toucans have been observed to catch small reptiles, small toads or frogs. Red Lord parrots love to perch in bare treetops. A fairly large bird of the jungle floor is the great Curasso. And sometimes they have to cross a rainforest road. These two are males, females are just dull brown. This road sign might be a good place to start a hunt for this broad winged hawk. Keeping clean seems to be most important for this crested caracara. Finding a suitable spot with dry sand can be difficult in a humid rainforest. This bird encountered the perfect place, one of the benefits living close to the road. By walking inconspicuously into the dense vegetation, Great tinamous avoid to be recognized by predators. On the other hand, a bird that loves to stand in public is the double striped thick knee and black bellied whistling ducks. Many species of birds are active in the early morning hours. A group of the northern jacana is looking for a suitable breakfast and this could be insects or small fish. But first of all, let's look pretty. Looking beautiful is an easy task for the black cowled oriole. A thick billed seed finch After starting the day with a romance, now it's time for breakfast for this scarlet rum tanager. A rufous named wren. This one is a female of the great tailed grackle, with males being jet black. 
Hoffman's woodpecker, hoping to find a tasty maggot in this palm leaf. When the day begins, iconic birds presenting their beautiful colors in tall trees. The fascinating scarlet macaws. Living as a pair or in small groups of three to four, scarlet macaws need huge old trees for nesting. Only very few populations of this large bird can be found in Costa Rica. Scarlet macaws mainly occur in the central and southern Pacific area of the country. No other bird resembles the life in a rainforest more than these. A bird with large eyes, perfect for seeing in the night, is the boat-built heron. He sleeps during the daytime and awaits the night to come. An orange-colored mannequin listening to the screams of a grey hawk. There is howling in the rainforest. Sounding scary and not easy to localize. Howler monkeys are on the move. Like the other species of monkey in Costa Rica, they are active during the day and have to sleep in the night. Howler monkeys feed on leaves and only just occasionally on fruits. A very specialized kind of nutrition and this has its disadvantages. Very often howlers have to rest with a bloated stomach. And it may take a long time for them to digest. Sometimes groups of monkeys are found outside the forest. Squirrel monkeys, the smallest species of monkey in Costa Rica. This large group has more than 30 individuals. They came from a nearby forest and now are looking for their sleeping trees. Of course it's no problem for them to use the cables and wires of Mano and Antonio village. We are back in the forest, passing huge trees with strange looking seeds. When walking through a rainforest it could be vital to watch your steps. Venomous snakes can cross your way. This is Oropel, the golden yellow eyelash viper. It's a highly venomous tree-dwelling species. Eyelash vipers remain absolutely motionless 
until they attack a small lizard or a small bird. These snakes occur in many color variations. Some are camouflaged by brown and green. Being brightly yellow has its pros and cons. A snake resting in the direct sunlight is almost invisible. An adult male green iguana. These are large day active reptiles reaching 2 meters in size. Its darker cousin, the black iguana, stays a little smaller. Juveniles and sub-adults of the black iguana are emerald green and they love to heat up in the sun. Anoles, being 20 cm long, also belong to the iguana family and they want to be seen. This male Pacific anole uses its large dewlap to be noticed by the female. And a suitable mate is already watching. He could be a lucky one, she seems interested. And finally, he made it. Some creatures of the night are already active, like this milk frog. Others simply don't care about the time of day. This is Argiope, an orb web spider. And she was successful. The spiders of this genus are famous for weaving structures into their webs. And science still does not have a clue why they do this. It could be a stabilizer or it's just made for camouflage. A female rhino beetle, too big for Agiope spiders. Being mainly nocturnal, she now seeks for a place to hide. On the other hand, some insects love to sit exposed, a still-legged fly. This spiny caterpillar can be sure not to be attacked. Diurnal butterflies need to be heated up by the sunlight. As well as some species of bugs. A large forest floor millipede. These creatures can grow longer than 10 cm and feed on rotting wood. Being attacked, they roll into a spiral and spray a toxic liquid containing cyanide. A diurnal relative of the guinea pig is the agouti. It feeds on fruits and seeds and is an active animal on the jungle floor. Agoutis are important gardeners of the rainforest as they bury their food seeds and often forget them. Central American agoutis know where to find tasty fruits, they simply follow monkeys. White-faced capuchin. Capuchin monkeys are highly social and are very intelligent. Like the great apes, they have been observed to use tools. Sometimes they use sticks to defend themselves against a snake or a human intruder.
they also know where to find tasty maggots. These primates also hunt for larger prey. Several troop members will band together when hunting squirrels or even small coatis. Capuchins also know the importance of using medical plants. In the rainy season, when they suffer more insect bites and skin diseases, they use the liquids of clematis and other plants to rub into their fur. This is a crafty monkey. Very close by, a shy mammal is resting. A white-tailed deer, rarely seen during the day. White-tailed deers are ruminants, and this is exactly what this female is just doing. She is not alone, there is another one. This animal is an important prey for pumas and jaguars. Costa Rican mammals that everybody knows are the sloths. A three-toed sloth, mainly active at night, but sometimes it feeds during the day. About once in a week, the sloth climbs down to defecate. In Costa Rica, sloths are quite common. They are thought to make up the largest mammal biomass, aside humans. The major diet of a three-toed sloth are the leaves of Cecropia trees. Sometimes sloths might have a greenish color. This is caused by algae growing in the fur. These algae provide food to moth caterpillars. It's a small moth, said to be only found on sloths. Some animals might only be recognized by their footprints. In this case, Costa Rica's largest mammal, the bear's tapir, made its way into the undergrowth. In the rainforest, it might get totally dark within half an hour. Now it's time for all kinds of nocturnal creatures. Giant toads, longer than 20 centimeters. These large amphibians are able to swallow a small rat. If attacked, they are able to produce a toxic liquid from poison glands just behind their eyes. The marine toad was introduced into Australia and caused a well-known ecological catastrophe. A night in the rainforest is frog time. Many different species are now active. For example, a variety of tree frogs. And they are found in many stages, from young ones to adult specimens. This scarlet web tree frog thrives best in a wet rainy season night. Some species of frog are very tiny, growing only to one and a half centimeters in total. Others are massive hunters, like the smoky jungle frog. 
The brilliant forest frog is a superb jumper. The rainy season is the best time for amphibians to start breeding. This beautiful small species is the hourglass tree frog. The male will be carried around until both find a suitable leaf above water to deposit the eggs. Tadpoles will drop down and complete their development. During the breeding season, life of a frog can be dangerous and often it's better to sit outside the water. A gladiator tree frog caught by a cat-eyed snake. This frog seems to be too large for the snake to overpower. But it's not a problem for this cat-eyed snake. She has a mild venom. It's almost done. The venom starts to work. This massive meal may last for weeks. Half an hour later, the feeding process is complete. And it's nothing more than the circle of life and death in the Costa Rican rainforest. Creepy crawlies also love the nighttime. A giant millipede is looking for plant material suitable to eat. These two forest floor millipedes are newly malted and are interested in each other. Grasshoppers and catidids occur in a great variety of species. And many of them try to look like a dead leaf. Or bright colors may say, hands off, I'm toxic. Cockroaches can grow to about 5 centimeters. And praying mantids camouflage themselves as tree bark. Diurnal butterflies sleep on top of a leaf. In the night, it's time for large moths. Like this silk moth of the genus Automeris, it shows its defensive behavior. It's also the best time to look for nocturnal mammals, a two-toed sloth. And like its three-toed cousin, it also has hundreds of little moths living in its fur. An animal that is highly adapted of living in the treetops is the kinkajou, a relative of raccoon and coati. It has a long tail that can grasp branches as a handy tool. This enables kinkajou's hands to snatch fruits or small prey. Kinkajous are perfect canopy mammals and will rarely descend to the ground. Many diurnal reptile species like this green iguana are now sleeping. This helmeted iguana found the perfect place to spend the night. Others use tiny branches, hoping not to be found by an owl or bat. This puck-nosed knoll may remain in this position until the first rays of sunlight. The turnip-tailed gecko is by far the largest species of geckos to be found in Costa Rica. Sometimes, as a cameraman, you are just on the lucky side. While filming this common paraki, 
a highly nocturnal species of bird, we noticed some movement in the back. Centuroides, the bark scorpion. This species of scorpion is most active during the night. It is able to deliver a very painful sting, but this is not lethal. These scorpions can often be found close to houses, so it's highly recommended that you control your hiking boots. Like scorpions, spiders are arachnids, and the night is their time. And every single night, this orb-web spider has to construct a new web. Others have already finished their work. Wandering, or banana spiders, do not need a web. They often hunt on the forest floor and overpower their prey by simply jumping on it. A jet black wandering spider with a body 4 cm long. This is the famous black widow spider. Tailless whip scorpions are bizarre creatures with claw-like mouth parts. The largest and heaviest spiders in the Costa Rican rainforest are the tarantulas, or bird-eating spiders. Sometimes you may just notice a leg at the burrow entrance. There may be more than 40 species of tarantula living in the country. And this one is the medium-sized species called Stichoplastoris obelix, waiting for a suitable meal to pass. There is an easy way to get a tarantula out of its burrow. They are always hungry. By using the stick method. This stick is used to imitate the movement of prey. Tarantulas feed on everything they can overpower. Large bird eaters have been observed to attack small snakes. This is an adult female of the so-called Lasiodora puriscal. In most cases, tarantulas only have scientific names. A baby tarantula feeding in the shelter of its burrow. After several mauls, this one may reach adulthood in about two years. There is another spectacular species of tarantula spider in Costa Rica, living on trees. It's the beautiful brown tree tarantula, Timopoeus reduncus. It can reach a body length of up to 6 cm. This spider is able to tackle very large prey. If a Psalmopoeus finds a small bird's nest, it easily could kill a chick. The tarantula species inhabiting Costa Rica are fascinating creatures, and not a single one is able to kill a human. To encounter wildlife, we also made use of camera traps. Interesting footage could be stored. An agouti carrying its food. Or videos filmed in the night. Presenting highly nocturnal wildlife such as this common opossum. These mammals feed on everything they find in the forest, including carrion. Sometimes wildlife could be observed when it was dinner time. Central American woolly opossum.
Flying termites, attracted by the lights of lodges, may attract all kinds of predators. Wandering geckos, a species not native to Costa Rica, it was introduced. No matter whether it is day or night, the nature and wildlife of Costa Rica is always worth a visit. Currently I am in the mountains, about 2,000, no. Hi guys, I'm in Costa Rica looking for tarantulas. 